Hey guys, and welcome to FedEx Gaming's 100th Redstone tutorial. Please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't let my channel grow. Now, today I'll be showing you guys how to build my Flatlands ATM. Now, it works like an ATM. You put four, four numbers in for your card number, and then you get your items or whatever, chess. In real life, you get money, but in this game, you get a chess with your items in it. <laughs> so let's put some numbers in. So, two, six, nine, two. And the first card should be showing up, and this one has a diamond in it. Now let's just do one more for a demonstration. So two, six, eight, seven. So two, six, eight, seven. I believe this one has a gold bar in it. Yep, gold ingot, and we send it back. And that's how the ATM works. Very cool, very not simple to make. And I'm gonna have to show you guys how to switch the tracks over at the end in case you build this not in the same direction that I built it. So if you just wanna follow me along perfectly, the direction to build this in is north <laughs> and then i believe the other way will be uh i'm pretty sure it's west and then uh no i mean north and north and east and south and west but if your carts mess up like i said at the end i'll show you how to fix that so let's just start building this thing right away all right guys so this build's stupid easy to build you just gotta follow along perfectly now i'm gonna be breaking this up into parts so it's very easy to understand so the first part we're going to be doing is our keypad which is of course the numbers that you have to press for it to work <laughs> so to make our keypad what we're going to do is we're just going to make a three by three space three by three block wall whatever it doesn't have to be black wall it could be whatever you want i just use it because it pops out and we're going to put our buttons all along that like so and now we're going to come to the backhand side and we're going to put torches all along the backhand side like that beautiful now the first torch we're going to do is this bottom middle one right here because it's the only one we're actually going to have to dig down for so we're just going to dig down one and go over to the right five so one two three four five and then we're going to take out our dust because i don't know why i didn't pull out dust i'm going to put dust right here underneath this torch a repeater going towards the right set to one tick delay and then bring the dust down over here bring it up one and put a repeater here like that so it looks something like that Next, what we're gonna do is for these two side torches, the bottom right and the bottom left, we're gonna put dust in front of both of them and put repeaters coming out of that dust in front of both of them like that. Now we're gonna do this uh, this middle torch right here. So what we're gonna do is put a block in front of, uh, I mean on the sides, bleh, a block in the middle of both the dust, <laughs> put the dust on top of it, and then we're gonna put a repeater coming out of that dust. And now these three are connecting together, which we don't want. So we're gonna put a block up on both of them like that. Next, what we're going to do are these two top torches right here, the two, the, the top right and the top left. So what we're going to do is put dust here, dust here, come down a block, come down a block, make like an M, put dust on both of these blocks, and then put repeaters coming out of those blocks. And now these two are connecting together, which we don't want. So all we do is put boop, like that, and it stops it connecting. Now it looks like a pyramid shape. Next, what we're going to do are these two torches right here that are in the middle, the, the middle right and the middle left. So what we're going to do is put a block here next to the middle right torch, put a repeater coming out of it, and then a block, one more block over, dust here, and then two repeaters coming out like that. And we're going to do it on the same, same thing on this side. So two blocks out, put a repeater here, dust here, and then two repeaters out like that. So it looks something like that. Now there's only one torch left, which is this top torch. This should be your, your number two button. So what we're gonna do is put a block on top of the torch and then three over. And then we're gonna put dust right above the torch, a repeater here coming out of the dust so it doesn't touch this torch. Then another piece of dust right here. And then now what we're gonna do is make a ladder down. So one block down, another block down, and another block down to the towards the repeaters. And we're just gonna bring our dust all the way down. And then we're going to put a repeater coming out of that one and there we go that's how you make the whole keypad so now if i click individual numbers they should not light up two of the re two of the repeaters should not go off if more than one repeater goes off that means you messed up somewhere so let me click one as you can see one repeater goes off let me click two another repeater goes off over here three one repeater goes off there you get the gist of it now if two repeaters go off or if three repeaters go off or if more than one repeater goes off then you did something wrong and that's how you build the keypad now let's move on to how we put our numbers into work so we want our four digit numbers all right guys so now we're on a part two where we're going to start putting in our numbers for our keypad so our keypad is going to have four digit numbers like an atm 
<laughs> you can put more numbers if you really want, but mine is an ATM. So it's very easy. So now that we got our keypad in and everything, all we're gonna do is put some blocks in front of these repeaters. And we're gonna put torches on top of these blocks. And the reason why I put torches on top of these blocks is because this will bring the signal up for each part of our different layers of key numbers. And we're gonna put door torches off to the backhand side that go off as well. So it looks something like that. And we're gonna come back to these ones later when we bring our signal up. We're gonna work with these ones down here. So what we're gonna do is come out of each one of these torches with a set of repeaters, like so. And now what we're going to do is make four lines of wool block or whatever you're using. So make four lines. So one line, skip one, two, skip another, three, skip another, four. And these are going to be our four numbers right here. Each line indicates a different number. And then we're going to put repeaters in between all of these lines going towards the back. And then when we get all the way to the back, we're gonna put another line of repeaters with dust in front of them. Now the reason for this is because each, these lines right here will pretty much be there so it resets the numbers. If you put the wrong, wrong set of numbers in, it resets it all. So I'm gonna be using 2692 for my first one. Now I already know this one by heart, so I'm just gonna do this one really quickly. Now to figure out your numbers, all you have to do is come to the keypad, click whatever number you want. So if you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's say you want two, six, nine, two as well. So all I have to do is click the two and then find out, see where this one lit, lit up. Let me click it again just to show you again. As you can see, it lights up here. Now, when you put your numbers in, the numbers are from back to front. The first number is all the way at the back. The second number is there, third number here, and the last number is all the way at the front. It's not the front is first, then blah, 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 blah. So our two is over here. So we're gonna. this is gonna be our two right here. So I'm gonna put a piece of dust right here for our two. And then where our dust is, go all the way to the back and delete this repeater. Because this repeater is there to reset everything. So your number, you don't want your real number to reset it or it won't work at all. So that's two. Now let's find six. So let's see, six is here. So I click this button, find where the torch lights up right here. Come down here. So that's two, six. Now we got to find nine. So let me go to nine, hit nine. The torch lights up right here. So two, six, nine. And then we are, we already know where two is. We know this one is two. So what we do is put another piece of dust right here. Now what we have to do is bring our redstone signal to the right. Now to do this without it connecting to any other number, put blocks up from wherever our dust is and bring it over to the right like that. So we're find our dust, put a block up to it and bring it over. And then we're gonna bring our signal over like so. Now this is to keep it from touching any other numbers. You don't want them connecting to other numbers. So make sure it looks something like this. And now we have to go to the back. And like I said, wherever the dust is, we have to delete where the repeaters are at the back. So that's nine. And this one right here is six. So it looks something like that. Make sure you delete these back repeaters or it won't work. You have to delete the back ones that are consistent with your numbers. Now what we're gonna do is come out one more block from where our, we brought our dust down. So come out one more from the repeaters and put dust on top of these blocks as well. Now this is where we're gonna put in our pretty much which pretty much uh, puts our input for our numbers in. It's kind of like a memory unit in some sort of way that it memorizes which numbers which. So what we're gonna have to do is now pull out some sticky pistons. Let me get the sticky pistons out. Why didn't I take these out before? And let's actually use a different color too. I'm gonna use orange. So what we're gonna do is put a sticky piston up from where each part of our dust is that we came out. So it looks something like that. And then we're gonna use my orange wool here or whatever block you're using. We're just gonna make a line above every single sticky piston. And we're gonna come one out that's closest to the keypad, one out at the back, in the front I mean. And then at the backhand side, we're gonna come out four. So one, two, three, and four. And now in between each sticky piston going towards the keypad, we are gonna put a repeater. So a repeater right here starting at the first sticky piston. Then we're gonna skip one, put another repeater, skip one, put another repeater, skip one, put another repeater, and finally put a last repeater all the way at the end. And now what we're gonna do is bring our our orange wool up one block in front of the of the most uh, furthest, I mean the closest to the keypad. We're gonna bring the block up and then we're gonna pretty much just wrap it all the way around to the back end. And then we're gonna put dust along all of this. There we go. And now all the way at the back, we're gonna put a torch on the back block. It has to be on the back block like that and it will activate this and 
Ah, oh, chicken, really? Really, chicken? Really, you want to die that badly? Okay, dead chicken. <laughs> and then going into these two blocks right here with the dust, we're going to put two repeaters and make the back one four ticks delay. And the reason for these repeaters right here is for the reset, for if we put the wrong number in. So where we took our repeaters out with the dust, find the dust all the way to the right closest to our memory unit for our numbers. And we're just going to bring the block up one and then bring it up one more again and connect these together like that. Make sure these connect together. Because like I said, this is just so if you put the wrong number in, it resets it. So now we pretty much have everything in. We just have to put one more part in. So right here at the end where we have our repeater going into the dust that's on kind of like a little corner, we're going to come down one more block and we're going to wrap this over to this right here. Now the way you can remember this is it's the second repeater to the end. And we're going to delete this block, come down one block, put dust next to the repeater, and then right where we came under here, we're going to put dust here, 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 and then we're going to put a four tick, not here, <laughs> we're going to put a four tick repeater going into this block, like so. Now if I put my numbers in, it should work. So if I put 2692 in, it should come all the way to the end and then reset itself. So two, the block goes up and stays up, six, stays up, nine, and two, and now it's gonna reset itself. Now, what happens if I put two, six, nine, and then a different number in? See those back repeaters over there? That's what resets it. So let's go two, six, nine, and let's say we put five in. Let's say we put five in. As you can see, it just resets it. This block doesn't come up at all or anything. It just resets it due to this back end right here. So we put our first number in. Let's see where our sun is. Now we're going to put our second number in. Now, the reason why I'm going to be putting two numbers in, because you have to zigzag it in this. So it's going to be different. So let's put our second number in now. So this is going to be part three. All right, guys. So now it's time to do the second number. Now, as you can see, I already put a little thing in right here because I didn't think you guys would want to see that it's a waste of time to watch me do that so all we have to do is come back here at the beginning where these torches are like I said we were going to come back to in the first place and now what we're going to do I'm going to be using yellow wool here just to kind of clarify the different I guess areas and we're going to put blocks above all these torches and then we're going to put torches on top of all the blocks like so and then we're going to put blocks on top of all these torches and then we're going to put torches on top of all the blocks. And as you can see, these ones go off and these are the ones we're going to want to use. So then we're going to come to the backhand side and put more torches here. And this is going to be our next row. So all we have to do is come out from where our off torches are and put some repeaters in like that. As you can see what it looks like, it looks like that. It's very easy to bring the signal up, very easy. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to put four lines in for each number. So one lines, one number, two numbers, three numbers, and four numbers. Oh, I brought this out one too much. <laughs> so there we go. Now all we have to do is put our repeaters in. Now the only reason I'm showing this twice is just so you get an understanding of it. Once you know how, like I said, once you know how to bring the signal up, it's so easy. It's <laughs> it's ridiculous on how to bring the, the signal up on this. So then we're gonna put some dust right here. Like that, B-A-U-T-Full. And then we're gonna come to the Let's put our numbers in, I guess. So I'm going to be doing one, four, eight, seven. So I'm just going to show you guys again like I did last time. So let's find the one. So one, there's one right there. So we put our dust there and we delete the back repeater. One, next is four. So four, there's four right there. Put our dust here, delete the back repeater. Eight, which is right there. I already know where all these are, but I'll just show you guys. So eight's here. Go back here, delete the back repeater, and I already know where seven is. I'm just gonna do it. Seven is right here, it's on this fourth one. I'll just click it anyway, whatever. So seven, let's see the dust comes on. Go back here, delete the repeater. You can also delete the dust that, uh, if you like did one, four, eight, seven, like I did, which is all the four back ones, you can also delete this dust, but I'm just gonna leave it, whatever. <laughs> so once we got one, four, eight, seven is, all we have to do is bring the block up next to each dust and bring it to the right. So bring the blocks up from where the dusts are. Beautiful. And now all we have to do is bring the dust all the way to the right. Very, very easy to build this. Very simple. Once we got all that in, we're just going to come all the way to the back right. Come down one and over. 
put dust here, 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 and here, and then we're gonna put our repeater, our uh, sticky pistons here. So sticky pistons, sticky pistons, sticky piston. And you know what, I'll just use orange wool like I did down there. And we're just gonna bring our orange wool all the way down. Come one out towards the keypad. Come over here, come out four on this side, like that. And then we're gonna come up one, bring it all the way down, wrap it around, and we're gonna put repeaters in between each sticky piston, like that. Put a torch here, two repeaters going in here, the back one set to four ticks delay. Bring the dust all the way around. Come one down underneath where the repeater is. Now this is easy because all you have to do is go right above the dust like that, it's very easy. And just wrap it around. And where the end cave is on that one, just find it here, delete it, put the dust, repeater on four ticks delay, dust wrapping around the backhand side. And then we just gotta connect these back ones right here. So just bring it up a block, bring it up a block again, and connect these two together. And now we got 1487 in. So if I put 1487 in, one, the block comes up. And as you can see, the block doesn't come up down here because that's not the same number. One, four. Now let's say I click five, it will reset it. So one, four, and let's just click five. As you see, it resets it because I put the wrong number in. And why is that still activated? What's going on? <laughs> that That's not going to happen. Trust me. That's not going to happen. It's just, you know, Xbox Redstone. Fun. It had an infinite going even though there was nothing there. <laughs> fun with freaking Xbox Redstone. So there you guys go. That's how you put your numbers in. Now I'm going to put two more numbers in. I'm just going to skip it because, like I said, it's very easy to bring the signal up. And when I get back, we're going to start putting our minecart tracks in. All right, guys, now we're back. And as you can see, I put the same exact thing in over and over again. This is four different numbers. It's just the same thing over and over again. Very, very easy. Now we're gonna start putting the minecart track in, which is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. So what we're gonna do is just come down here. Now you don't have to do this. You do not have to do this, but I like doing it because it looks nice. So I put a little, little in cave into there. And then I do the same thing on this side, come out with the white wool over, and then I bring it up. And I make a nice little in cave with the black. And then I delete down under one. And this is where our chest will come out after we put our combination in. So there we go. That's where our chest will come out. And we'll come back to this later once we hook up our minecart track to this area. So the first, first number, the first ATM number is going to be different from the rest on the minecart track. This one is gonna be the most different one from all the others. So what we're gonna do is put a torch here. You could easily find it because it's right next to where the four tick delay repeater is. Just come over one right underneath the dust. As you can see, it's the same thing on each one of them. And we're just gonna put dust coming out from it. Put a block in front of the dust, a torch there, a block on top of the torch. And now we're gonna bring these blocks all the way down to where the hole is that will uh, have our mine carts going down to it. And then we're gonna bring it down, one, two, and then down two more, three, and put white wool here. Now you don't have to be using blue wool. And this is where our mine cart track is gonna go on to. Right there. And the reason why I say the first one, first one is different from the rest is because the first one is the one that doesn't need anything on it. It doesn't need any redstone underneath it. And it's the only one that has the signal underneath it. It's the only one with the signal under it. So what we're going to do now is come out over one block, like so, put a regular rail here, a powered rail there. Power rail has to be here because that's what the torch is gonna activate. And then we're gonna go regular rail, regular rail. And then normally there will be a detector rail here, but we're just gonna put another regular rail, another regular rail, four regular rails, then three powered rails, then all regular rails, and then all powered rails going down. And then a regular rail here, here, and then on this side where the one comes out right here, we're gonna put a powered rail here, and then we're going to put a button. Let's see, where's my buttons? I don't have one for some reason. A button here, like that. So when we press the button, it activates that powered rail. That's to send it back when we're done. So it looks something like this. Now what we're gonna do is come one block up from this normal rail and put a power uh, torch here just to keep this stuff activated at all times. You want these powered rails activated always. 
except for this one and that's how you do the first number that's why the first number is so easy it doesn't have any redstone underneath it whatsoever very very easy now we're going to do the second one now this gets tricky because you have to bring no matter what when you bring the signal over it's not going to stay in a consistent way it's not going to stay all fancy nice which i wanted it to but the easiest way to do it is to keep it nice and sloppy <laughs> keep it nice and sloppy so what we're going to do is bring the signal right from where our four tick repeater is so bring the signal from here and what i do is i just bring it up one so it doesn't touch here or mess anything up also i forgot we have to delete this top normal rail and put a normal block there like that there we go and we're just going to bring this signal over like so to i believe right here yep 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 and we're going to bring our dust up we're putting to put a torch on the end of this and then we're going to do the same thing on this side we're going to come up a block and we're gonna just bring the yeah, we're gonna bring the wool all the way down and to the left now this one's gonna be different because this one's actually gonna have redstone underneath it oh yeah and also in between each part right here we're gonna put a powered rail one block underneath it with a torch to keep that powered up so this is where it's gonna get different we're gonna put a normal rail here like we did on that one powered rail normal rail normal rail detector rail normal rail three powered rails and then all normal rails to this part like that and then to keep these one activated at all times we're just going to come one block up with a torch to keep that activated at all times and now what we could do is delete this one put a block up and then what we're going to do is put dust here and a torch there and that will activate this one the torch always needs to be off this has to be at off at all times this is just there to activate it when we put our number in right so make sure this is off at all times now this is where it's going to get a little tricky so right underneath where our detector rail is right underneath we're going to come down and we're, this is where we're going to have to dig down at least once here and then going towards the keypad going towards the left hand side we're going to put a repeater here set it to three ticks delay delete the block in front of it and put dust there so it looks something like that so right underneath the detector rail we're going to dig down one and put a repeater on three ticks Next, what we're going to do is put a block right above that three tick delay repeater so we won't see it anymore. We're going to put dust on top of the block so when the when a minecart goes past this part, so let me get a minecart with a chest. When it hits this, it will activate that dust. As you see, it's activating it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the dust down one to the right so it activates the repeater underneath it. And we're going to put a torch to this side so that dust is always on. And then we're gonna put a torch on top of this block. So delete that and put a torch there. That torch goes off. And this is a called a mono stable circuit. And then we're gonna put a block right above the off torch. And this is where we're gonna actually need our sticky pistons. And we're gonna put a sticky piston coming off this block. Put a block in front of our sticky piston. A block down from the block that's in front of our sticky piston and put a torch on this one. And then we're gonna come two blocks out from the torch and put two repeaters going towards this torch set to four ticks delay both. So four ticks and four ticks like that. Next, what we're going to do is put a block in front of our four ticks with dust underneath that block, a block next to the dust. Then off to the left hand side, we're gonna put a torch that will always be on, a block on top of the on torch. Well, it won't always be on when it activates. Then a block right above it, which will go off to see how the torch goes off. A block above that torch and to the left of it, this torch, which will always be on. And as you can see right now, our rails are going towards the right, which we do not want. We don't want that. We want our, our rails always going towards the left. Unless we have a box down here, our rails should always be going towards the left. That's the reason for this. So when I put a block here and some dust here, it pushes the rail back this way, making it work right. Now, let's say, if, now this is for people whose rails are going to be going this way. Sometimes, depending on the direction you build this in, the rails are different. So let me get a map out, where's my map? There we go. I'm pretty sure we're facing north for this. Yes. So if your rails are going like this while the torch is on, then this is how you fix this. This is how you fix this problem. So make sure you watch it if your rails are messed up even with the torch on. So all we have to do is literally delete this block with this torch on it. Delete this torch. Put the torch to the side. It will go off. Put a block on top of it and then put two dust there. That's for people whose rails are going in a different direction because of the direction they built this on. 
So make sure you change this if your rails are screwing up. If they're not, then you're building it the way I'm building it. So let's just put it back the way I had it. So let's put a block on top of that and torch there. So remember that, remember that part. <laughs> So there we go. That's how you pretty much put this all in. So the next, now we just do the same thing. So we bring it over one, bring it down one, bring the rep, bring the block all the way down, turn it to the left, put a powered rail here, normal rail, normal rail, normal rail, powered, 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 normal detector, normal, normal, powered, normal, delete this one, put a block above it, put dust here, a torch here. There's always gonna be a torch with dust on it except for the first one, just to clarify that. And this, the torches above these always have to be off. They always have to be off. So now we have to just bring the signal from here. So bring it down. Like I said, it's gonna be different. It just is, I can't keep it neat. Just make sure the signals don't cross with each other and you should be fine. So this one's actually very, very simple. All we have to do is bring it down like on a stair. So let me just bring this block over like that put a torch here as you see the torch goes off put dust on top of the block and bring it down like a staircase so there's the third one like that easy peasy lemon squeezy and then we're gonna like we did on that one it's the yep the sun's about to go down so uh let's try to do it quick so we come down underneath the detector rail delete down one put a repeater going towards the keypad set it to three ticks delay put a block above the repeater put dust on top of the block dust down to the back delete down one put dust there torch here block here torch there torch should go off block on top of the torch uh map get out of here hurry up hurry up hurry up sticky piston sticky piston coming out block in front of the sticky piston block down torch block block two repeaters set to four ticks delay block in front of the repeaters dust down here block here and now now wait for each time you put in another one, we're gonna have to put a block in the middle and then going towards the left, put a repeater, set it to four ticks delay, like that. So where the repeater goes into this block, put a repeater coming out of it, set the four ticks going to that block. Now let's do this. Okay, so torch to the left, block up in front of it, torch on top, block up, torch to the left, block down, and dust. And it switches the rail over. Okay, it's going nighttime. And then when we come back, we'll do the last rail. All right, guys, so let's put in our last and final rail. So like we did in every single one, we're just gonna come over one. Oh, I did not wanna do that. Wow, that stinks. So I gotta delete that, put that back. That's poop. That is poop. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna bring block over, bring these blocks all the way down. Oh yeah, we also have to power this powered rail. So where that four tick is right here, put a block here and a torch there just to power that. So let's do that now. Block here, torch. Powered rail, normal, normal, powered, 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 normal, detector, normal, normal, powered, normal, delete that one, put a block up, dust, repeater here, and now we're going to have to do everything again. Oh, actually we didn't power these ones either, so block above these two, torch, torch, keep those on at all times, come underneath the detector rail, delete one block. Put a repeater going towards the keypad, set it to three ticks, dust on the back, block on top of it, dust on top of the block, delete down, dust here, torch, delete that, torch there, block above the torch, uh, sticky piston, block in front of the sticky piston, block down from the block in front of the sticky piston, torch here, two blocks, set them both to four ticks delay when you put the repeaters on top, dust down, block to the block next to the dust, put a repeater here, set to four ticks delay. So like, like that, like I said, each one going towards the left has a four tick going that way. Block on top of the dust, block down, torch to the left, block on top of the torch, torch on top of the block, block on top of the torch, torch to the left, block and dust. And that is it. That is how easy it is to do. And like I said, if your rails are wrong, Make sure to do what I told you before. All you have to do is delete this block, put the torch to the left, and then put a block up with dust like that. And that's all you have to do for every single one. Like I said, if, you're, if your thing's wrong, torch to the left, block up, dust. Easy peasy, super easy to make it work right. So put those back there, put that back there, torch, block on top of the torch, torch to the left, and there we go. 
So now if I put in my, let's uh, get some chests, come over here, put our chests in, boop, 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 boop. Oh, we actually have to put the signal to this one, forgot. So do the same thing again, just come off where the, the repeater is. And now all we have to do is figure out a way to get that signal down there. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty simple to do. Very pretty, 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 blah, 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 pretty easy to do. <laughs> So all I do is like the further down it goes, all I do is just add more torches like that. So we just have to make sure this one's off all the time. So let's put dust there, block up from that, torch there, take a little thing down and put dust there. That's all you have to do is make sure that one at the bottom is always off. That's all it has to be is always off. So let's put our chest there and let's fill our chest with different stuff. So this one can have orange wool. This one can have blue wool. This one can have white wool, and this one can have red wool. Beautiful. So now let's start testing out our numbers. Make sure everything's working all nice and good. Like, oh, this has to be on all the time too. So to do that is very easy. All you have to do is put a torch right underneath it, and now it's on at all times. <laughs> very easy. So let's do our numbers. So the first one is two, six, nine, two. So two, six, nine, and two. The card's coming. Boop. We got our red wool. Beautiful card goes back good one four eight seven one four eight seven oh see it's always good to make sure to check the numbers so let's see why did that do that why did you come down with him let's send it back and do it again let's just make sure oh i gotta make sure why that came down with him so let's see one four eight seven it didn't come that time why is it <laughs> why is redstone so glitchy sometimes i don't know why I, I, I honestly don't think oh oh my goodness i when i did the last numbers at the back i forgot to add the reset switches on them see it's always good to make sure that everything's there so i forgot to add it so pretty much what it was doing was just keeping the numbers intact so it just uh kept uh redoing them so there we go that's the problem i missed so let's put that there always remember to put your reset numbers in or it won't work guys make sure you put these back reset numbers in so there we go so our 1487 works good we already know it does so let's send it back so the next one is two six nope i just clicked the wrong one there two six eight seven so here it comes it has our blue wool in it and last but not least is three five nine and one and here she comes beautiful everything's working great guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know it's very long but it's something that is very, very cool. And I'm also gonna be putting a video up to show you guys how to make this. So if you don't want the ATM part and you just want the keypad number to open up different doors or just open up different stuff, I'll be putting a video up for that sooner or later in the future to show you how to make it uh, do that. But there you guys go. That's how you build my Flatlands ATM. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.